This is Awkward Occurrence or Awkward Entertainment. So, let's get right into this video. We're going to check out some recent news that I've been saving to my YouTube playlist. So, let's roll down, down to news 2. And let's see what's on the list. Um, enough is enough. Some of these, just by the headline, you can tell what it's like. I really ain't got to watch the video. I can just comment on the headline. Did we watch this already? Did we watch that? Let's watch it then. So the, the Seattle protest zone, Chaz, was cleared out early July. This is middle July. So early July, before the 4th. Yeah, July 1st. They was arresting somebody in the back. I, I don't know. Maybe there was, you know, giving one of the officers CPR. Maybe he passed out in the heat. You know, got the whole bodysuit on in the heat. For we yeah, they had an outbreak of violence. Um, order out of chaos. I don't know what type of order. They wanted out of this. But they did bring some chaos. Or at least they reported there was some chaos. And they showed some videos of a few police officers going back and forth. And a couple of black people jumping in the car. I mean, whatever. Whatever. Weeks we had. You can take those videos however you want. I even saw one. Somebody was supposed to have been shooting. But they didn't get to shoot it on camera. They just got the people walking around. But they just got the person recording walking around. And I believe they came up upon they came up upon the person who was shot, but you still don't see anything. They say, hey, this person was shot. Peaceful demonstrations on Capitol Hill. Well thousands have peacefully protested in the area over the last weeks. The public safety threats in recent weeks have been well documented. Despite our continued efforts to de-escalate and bring community messengers in, including personally having conversations with demonstrator organizations on Friday, the deteriorating conditions and repeated gun violence required us to immediately address public safety concerns. Basically, basically, they said, well, the party's over, because they approved of Chaz. They approved of the whole auto-autonomous zone, so they just put it in to their own dog and pony show. That's all it was. That's all it was. I'm surprised I didn't see no upside down broken crosses. Everyone was asleep in their tent, so it was very early in the morning. Maybe five o'clock, I don't know. But they said, you have three minutes to leave or you'll be arrested. And I went to use the bathroom, and then I came back, and I just got what I could out of my tent, and they were already at my tent. And then we start running, and uh, they take our tents, and then they throw them. Under an executive order from Mayor Durkin, the Seattle Police Department was among the first of the city agencies to enter this area today. We forward toward meaningful exchange in our... Whatever, whatever. Whatever. 
All they did was put an end to their own shit show. That's all they did. Put an end to their own shit show. Okay, now this is South Korea. Develop a drug. So if you have COVD, you can take this drug for whatever reason. If you don't have any symptoms, why do I need to take any drugs? Whatever this is. We're about to hear about it. Let's read this. I might buy that same stock. I want to know what is it, what is it, it's not a cure, it's not a vaccine, it's a drug. Okay, next, let's just hear what they had to say. South Korea started distributing stocks of the COVID-19 treatment remdesivir that were donated by the drug maker Gilead Sciences after the United States secured nearly all of its supply of the drug over the next three months. Speaking at a news conference, the director for the Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said South Korea plans to begin talks to purchase more supplies in August, making it the first country to disclose a timeline for talks with Gilead. Remdesivir is expected to be in high demand as one of the few treatments shown to alter the course of COVID-19. But the U.S. has already secured more than 500,000 treatment courses of the drug, which represents 100% of Gilead's projected production for July. So what the heck is in it besides some powder I saw? What the heck is it? And for talks with Gilead. Remdesivir is expected to be in high... Man, look at that. Glilly Sciences Inc. 333 Lakeside Drive. Really? On the 3rd parallel? Wait, they're on the 33rd, 66th parallel of that region? What? It's an injection you have to take. Contains lyopohelizide. I'm going to get this name, Lyophilizid, Lyophilizid powder. Anybody want to go check out that powder? And I know somebody going to tell me what it actually, or how to actually pronounce that. Let's continue. Demand. Emergency use authorization in several countries and full approval in Japan after a clinical trial showed it helped shorten hospital stays. Gilead said this week it had priced remdesivir at $390 per vial in developed countries. And based on current treatment patterns, a course of remdesivir... Whatever, we got enough. It helps shorten hospital stays. So it's supposed to combat the symptoms of COVID if it helps shorten... Does it hide the symptoms? What, what does it exactly do here, people? C come on now. It shortens your hospital stay. It, what is that like voodoo witch doctors who take the pain and put it in another part of your body? Then you got to come back and pay them to move the pain again. And just keep paying them and paying them. How does it shorten anything? How is that not a cure? Like, how is that not, how did that not become a cure? Like, really? Really? Like, we're still in the first year of the pandemic. We didn't even get, we in this six months now, so. Really? You come this far in such a short time, and you telling me you got a treatment to shorten hospital stays, but you don't have a treatment to cure whatever it is you say. So many people are supposed to have because they read a piece of paper that said they had it. Right, okay. Wait, so $2,340 per patient. One more video. 
The price has been a topic of intense debate since U.S. regulators approved its emergency use in some COVID-19 patients in May. Experts have said Gilead would need to avoid appearing to take advantage of a health crisis for profits. Last week, the European Union's healthcare regulator recommended conditional approval of the drug when used in the critically ill. The we can't just take from nature. Okay. Whatever the title of this video was, you know it's going to be stupid. So two women are seen acting 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 out on camera fighting because one person has a mask and the other people don't one person says they have a medical condition and the people don't want to accept that excuse like as if she's spreading some horrible disease around as if she's sneezing in your face which is covered with a face mask as if it matters because you have a face mask on. That's why it doesn't matter if somebody doesn't wear a face mask. Because you have one on. Because you have one on. But don't bother them because they don't want to wear one. You have one on. Or they sneezing in your face. No, I'm pretty sure if they were sick, they'll sit down or go to the hospital. If you show no symptoms and you sneeze, you can't be sneezing if there's no symptoms. You just can't be sneezing. Right? Again, you have a mask on, so don't worry about everybody else. So, we collaborate. Let's watch this ridiculous video. That, when other fools watch the TV news, they go out and act just like this. And it almost never fails, almost. 75% of the time, when the news pushes some um, stupid video of people acting, you, you have some fools in the household who'll go out to a store and start yelling at other people. Monkey see, monkey do. Start yelling at other people who don't have a face mask on. Like, really? And it doesn't happen very often. It really doesn't because they know when you walk in the store and someone doesn't have a mask on if you yell at them it's a good chance they're gonna hit you over the face like, yeah, yeah. nobody's crazy enough to go yelling at somebody that's three times their size cause they don't have a face mask on right yeah get real get your nets get real <laughs> out of a face mask confrontation caught on camera at a grocery store in California. See that shopper there yelling at employees and other customers after refusing to wear a face covering. All I see are three people look like they work at the same place with face the same shirts on, surrounding and ganging up on some woman who doesn't have a face mask on. Mask confrontation caught on camera. So the three stooges against one stooge. At a grocery store in California, you see that shopper there yelling at employees and other customers after refusing to wear a face covering. Will Reeve is at a Trader Joe's here in New York with the story. Good morning, Will. Put your face mask on. She doesn't have a face mask on. They put the dumb idea in your head from TV to go yell at other people by using other people. Lights, camera, action. Good morning, George. That Trader Joe's in North Hollywood had its grand opening that day. Now millions of people know what it looks like inside because of this video. Yet another incident surrounding wearing masks in public. The woman in the video now speaking out to our station in L.A. This morning, face mask controversy after this outburst caught on camera in a Los Angeles grocery store. Time out. Oh, we got to refuse you service. Motherfucker, if I sneeze, motherfucker. And you still refuse me service, and I supposedly have something. I don't care if I have a common cold, motherfucker. If I sneeze and I leave, what was the fucking point? I'm trying to get to what the heck I'm thinking here. What the fuck? Like, I go back. To our station in L.A. 
Why, why the fuck are you approaching her if you're so upset that she doesn't have a face mask on? Is she sneezing in your face? What if she sneezes? What if she accidentally sneezes in your face or coughs? Like, like, come on, how scared are you to be that close to her? That's not even six feet. How scared are you? Excuse the cussing, but how scared are you? She's already been in the store without a face mask, so if she was sneezing or doing anything, like, she already did it, homie, homie. Mass controversy after this outburst caught on camera in a Los Angeles grocery store. For anyone harassing me to wear a mask, you guys are violating federal policy. Get down on camera, man. This Trader Joe's shopper confronted for. You are violating federal law. No, no, like, if you're harassing me to wear a mask, you're violating my freedom. And you should get out of my face. You really should get out of my face. I, I don't want to hear about no made up federal laws and local laws by some dumbass humans who worship the devil I don't I don't want to hear that shit like you're violating my personal space freedom and choice I, I don't give a fuck about your face mask I don't, I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck let's continue but you have one on right alright don't, don't worry about if I sneeze or not well, you, you gonna catch my blackness or my whiteness or my Asian was you afraid if you sneeze on the Asian, if an Asian sneezes on you, you're going to become Asian. And you're going to eat cat and dog then. Let's, let's continue. Not wearing a mask in the store. She claims she has a medical reason not to. I have a problem. Now they go on to try to belittle her for having a medical reason. And they say stupid things like, well, I have asthma and it's hard for me to breathe in my mask, but I still wear the mask. You stupid motherfucker. It is hard to breathe in a mask. So you still wear the mask and you have asthma and you're telling us on camera it's hard to breathe. I'm pretty sure sooner or later you're going to pass out going outside with a mask on. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, you can't breathe? Don't, well, don't take off that mask. You can't take off that mask. Are you getting dizzy? Don't, don't take it off. Don't take it off. Oh, no. Oh, no. In North Hollywood, where she said she also got permission and claims the... Not knowing if he's a crazy man. So I start yelling. started uh, using obscenities at me. And I did what any normal human being... Where she said she also got permission and claims the incident began while she was shopping. Right away, he started uh, using obscenities at me, and I did what any normal human being, a woman, would do if she was being harassed by a man, not knowing if he's a crazy man. Now, now they said this actor called and got permission from Trader Joe's to not wear a mask before she came. So, on a grand day, so this is a grand day, the first day of opening, they cut the ribbon. And she called ahead and was like, so I got a medical condition and I don't want to wear a mask. You couldn't find nowhere else to go. And who thinks of the call ahead to talk about not wearing a mask? Anyway, her, her fishy story. But but still, it's possible. It's possible. You know, you got, you got some Karens that call ahead and ask um, or say I don't have to wear a mask because I have a medical excuse. But the craziness is, of this is they try to belittle this actor for not wearing a mask. And they try to make it seem so horrible that someone has asthma or a medical condition. That if they wear a mask, it's, it's, it causes them to have an outbreak. And I'll just leave it at outbreak. Causes them to go into suffocate. How, how about that? So I start yelling in self-defense. Earlier this month, California Governor Gavin Newsom made wearing masks in public mandatory. But the state's Department of Health has exempted anyone with a medical con... Are you may putting something on my face I don't want to put on my face mandatory against my will. And give me some um, lame excuse. You have a choice. You know, you don't have to put something on your face you don't want to. You have a choice. Which is called freedom. It's called freedom. And no matter what, what dumb excuse they'll give you, 
to try to make you do something against your will is is never good enough. I like these devil's excuses. It's never good enough for trampling on your freedom. It's never good enough. I don't care what they tell you. No, it's never good enough. Condition, mental health condition, or disability that prevent viewed millions of times and counting. Some people shaming the angry shopper for what they perceived as selfish public behavior. Selfish public behavior. So, um, if there's somebody starving in front of the store, you don't give them any money. That's considered a selfish public behavior. Like everybody walking past the starving person, not helping out. And in the public, so selfish, so selfish. Like you have a lot, they have nothing. But all you tell them is get a job. That's it. That's all you tell them? That's so selfish of you to say get a job. You could have just bought them something to eat for the day. That's so selfish. Selfish. I have asthma. And I'm wearing my mask. And not being considerate of other people's freedom and choices and medical conditions and freedoms. Not being considerate of other people's freedoms and being ignorant to the state. That's um considered bad public behavior. Or however they just put it five seconds ago. There's times I feel like I can't breathe, but I'm like... Angry shopper for what... So the lady coming up, she's going to talk about I have an asthma, and there's times I can't breathe, but I still wear the mask. Right. Perceived as selfish public behavior. I have asthma. And I'm wearing my mask. I mean, there's times I feel like I can't breathe, but I'm like... If I want to be out there shopping and have to get what I have to get done, I have to wear it for the sake of others and for the sake of my health. For the sake of others and for the sake of your health. So for the sake of others... Are you walking around with a contagious virus that when you sneeze, it can't go through your skin? Oh no, it doesn't go through your skin, even though your skin has open pores. No, 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 it, it goes through your nose or your mouth or in your eyes. But there's no mandate on wearing glasses. No, 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 no. You have a virus, they claim still stays in the air for eight hours. Uh, continuously eight hours if you got multiple people coming by every so often sneezing in that same area. And you're telling me it doesn't get in your eye. It stays in the air for eight hours, but if you wear a mask and no glasses, it can't it can't get in your eye. No, it can't get in your skin pores. Let's continue. I guess they're not gonna mandate glasses. That's a little too clownish. The woman in the video did not specify what her medical condition is. Trader Joe's has... She doesn't have to specify. It's like you don't have to specify if you have COVID-19. These ridiculous coronavirus apps that just intrude on um, privacy. And this coronavirus thing is doing more than just intruding on your health privacy. And by making you look like um, a sick zombie because you have to put this app on your phone. And when you come near somebody else with the app, it tells them you have it. Like, you didn't do that for AIDS. That's not my argument. You didn't do it for AIDS, but it, it's stupid. It's very stupid. Very stupid. Yet to comment on the incident, but their website clearly states. And people who are un. Uh huh. Yeah. Next. Well, that was the last video for this session. I'm not going to keep talking on and on. All right. This has been Awkward Occurrence or Awkward Entertainment. Um, I would say keep your face mask on, but if you can't breathe, you have a medical condition, and you're feeling lightheaded, you have to take that mask off because... Your asthma will get you before COVID-19 will, I guarantee you. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video.